Let's look at the powers, right? So this is 15 plus or minus 2.5, the whole thing squared, right? And this is our rule that that exponent just comes out because really this just means 15 times 15, right? So we're going to do two of those. It's the same exact rule that we used in the previous thing. Only, you know, remember the exponents are just um, a way to express multiplication of multiple times, right? It gets a little tricky, though, when we get to, like, square roots, but, but this isn't a square root. So 15 squared, is that 225? I think I memorized that. Let me double check. 15 squared, 225, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go the uncertainty of, here you're using y, I'm using x, I don't know why. 225 is equal to the absolute value of 2 times 2.5, that's the uncertainty of it, right, divided by 15. Okay, the reason it's an absolute value is that sometimes exponents are negative, right? Like, so 1 over x squared would be x to the negative 2. And it doesn't make sense to have a negative uncertainty. Actually, it doesn't, doesn't matter, right, because plus or minus a negative number is the same as plus or minus a positive number. But <laughs> nobody, nobody ever writes a negative uncertainty. Okay, so 225 times... 2 times 2.5 divided by 15, that's 75. So delta x equals 75, right? And now we're set, right? It's going to be, the answer is 225 plus or minus 75. All right. Okay, let's look at this guy. 2.75 to the fourth power is... We have reliable sources that say that's 57.191. All right, so now I'm going to set up this expression, right? Delta x over 57.191 is equal to the absolute value of 4 times the fraction 0.12 over 2.75. Again, just don't, you know, if you get a negative number when you're doing your calculating your uncertainty, just ignore the minus sign. So literally, I'm going to go times 4 times 0.12 divided by 2.75. This is 9.98, right? So delta x is 9.98. Now, honestly, if you just write 57.191 plus or minus 9.98, because this is going to get weird, right? If I, multi if, I, if I round this to two places, it's 10 decimal point, right? And then I have to round this to the ones place. So technically, IB might want us to write it this way. And I'll help you. This is like stuff we need to worry about on the IA. Okay. Again, if you write 57.2 plus or minus uh, 9.98, right? you certainly wouldn't want to say 9.9 because .9 it, would, it would have to round up, right? 57.19 uh, plus or minus 9.98, right? You could bend it, right? IB might ding us for having a three-digit um, thing. I think this is probably the best one, right? But it just gets a little weird, right? All right.